This month, we bring you a brief history of the founding of the Benevolent and Protective Order of Elks. BPOE stands for the Benevolent and Protective Order of Elks, or as they are affectionately known, the best people on earth. Elks are American citizens who want to save the great American values, who love others and want to make sure they are healthy and happy, and who love life and want to contribute to it as well as to share it. As a member, they find there is nothing better than serving their community through various activities and charities supported by their local Elks Lodge. This is a story of the account of the expansion of a dream of brotherhood which later resulted into the greatest of American fraternities. The founder of the BPOE was an Englishman by the name of Charles Algernon Sidney Vivian, the son of a clergyman and a successful comic singer and dancer in the music halls of London. He was a member of a fraternal organization in England called the Royal and Antediluvian Order of Buffaloes. The buffalo started around 1010, and there is considerable evidence that Charles introduced many of their beliefs to the Elks, including the 11 o'clock toast. In November 1867, 22-year-old Charles Vivian landed in New York via an English trading vessel from Southampton. On the night of his arrival, one of his first stops was at the Star Hotel, a free and easy bar. Vivian met a fellow Englishman, Richard R. Steerley, who was a piano player there. Vivian struck up an acquaintance with him and volunteered to sing a few songs to entertain the guests. When closing time came at the Star Hotel, Steerley took Vivian around to his boarding house, kept by Mrs. Gleesman. There he found a collection of congenial fellows, among them William Bowern, who also knew Vivian in his native land. On another afternoon, Vivian also met Hughley Doherty, Cool Burgess, and Henry Vandermark. The latter suggested that the party shake dice for the refreshments. Vivian replied that he never handled the cubes, but would show them a new game. Calling for three corks, he gave one to each to Stirley and Vandermark, keeping the other for himself. He asked Cool Burgess to be the judge and Doherty to count to three. They rehearsed the trick of each dropping his cork on the bar and picking it up as rapidly as possible several times, the idea being that the last man to lift his cork was to buy. This was the first introduction of a delectable form of amusement which became popular. The Birth of the Jolly Corks At about this time, the excise law was being strictly enforced and Sunday in New York City was a very dry day. Devotees of the cork trick formed the habit of congregating on this day to hold social conventions under the inspiring influences of a stock of beer laid in the night before. This little coterie styled itself the Jolly Corks, with Charles Vivian as the Imperial Cork. While the meetings were held with regularity, apparently no form or substance resulted, except for the adoption of a toast to members of the group not in attendance. Shortly before Christmas in 1867, only a few months after the fellows began to meet, one of their number died, leaving his wife and children destitute. This event gave rise to the notion that, in addition to good fellowship, the Jolly Corks needed a more noble purpose in order to endure, and serving not only their own in need, but others as well, would be appropriate. Two months later, on February 16, 1868, with a statement of serious purpose, an impressive set of rituals, a symbol of strength 
and majesty and such other elaborate trappings that might be expected of a group of actors and musicians, the new fraternal order was launched. The 15 founders of the BPOE desired a readily identifiable creature of stature, indigenous to America. Since the organization's founding on February 16, 1868, the Benevolent and Protective Order of Elks has been recognized by the noble creature that is the symbol of the order. The elk is a peaceful animal, but will rise in defense of its own in the face of a threat. The majestic creature is fleet of foot and keen of perception. A f most fitting representation the stately elk is for a distinctively American, intensely patriotic, family-oriented organization subscribing to the cardinal principles of elkdom, charity, justice, brotherly love, and fidelity. Thus, the jolly corks were merged into the benevolent and protective order of elks.